Now this question is asking for the error interval for t. Now to start off this question we just draw a line and I put 1.45 in the middle. So that's the answer that we got. Now we've got to figure out what the lowest and largest it could have been before it was rounded. Now to do that I need to figure out what's next given the fact they were rounded to two significant figures what's next on the number line going downwards? Well the next one would have been 1.44 so if our number had been slightly less it could have rounded to 1.44 the next one up is 1.46 so if our number was around here it would have rounded to 1.46 if it was down here it would have rounded to 1.44 so we know our number is somewhere here Next thing we've got to do is figure out, well, what's the lowest it could have been? Lowest it could have been is halfway between 1.44 and 1.45, and that's going to be 1.445. What's the highest it could have been? Well, again, that's going to be halfway between, this time, 1.45 and 1.46. So the highest it could have been is 1.455. Now, we also call this number our lower bound, and we call this number our upper bound. Now, the way we write this is 1.445 is lower than t, is lower than 1.455. There's a slight bit more we've got to do. It could have been equal to 1.445. If you think about it, if it was that number, we always round up. Remember, if the last numbers are 5, we always round up. But it can't be equal to this one, so we don't put an equal sign there as well. For error intervals, it, the middle bit will always look like this, with maybe a change in letter. 